and the Pentagon says it knows who's responsible for the drone attack over the weekend in Jordan that killed three U.S. troops. And we are still waiting for a response from the White House, but the president is promising to take action. Doug Lazader joins us live from Capitol Hill with more as to what that action might be. Doug, good morning. Good morning. Well, there is a certain urgency to all of this, and there are a number of folks here on Capitol Hill that uh, say that the response to this attack on U.S. service members should be timely and severe. U.S. F-18 fighters just launched another round of attacks on Houthi rebel forces in Yemen that have been targeting ships in the Red Sea. But still no response yet to the drone attack on Sunday that killed three U.S. troops and wounded dozens others at a base in Jordan even as the U.S. has identified the group responsible. We believe that the, uh, uh, the attack in Jordan was, uh, was uh, planned, resourced, and facilitated by an umbrella group called the Islamic Resistance in Iraq. We will hold all those responsible to account at a time and in a manner of our choosing. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, meeting with his U.K. counterpart yesterday, promised a response, but there is a continuing debate over how to hold Iran to account for backing groups that have launched more than 100 attacks on U.S. service members in recent weeks. That drone was not made by militias. There's no, there's no drone factory that militias run. It's an Iranian-made drone. And then the militias didn't steal it from Iran either. Iran gave it to them for the purpose of using against their enemies, which is us. The White House says a response is in the works and that it may extend beyond just one attack. Just because you haven't seen anything in the last 48 hours, that doesn't mean that you're not going to see anything. And as I said earlier, when you see the first thing, don't come to be thinking that that's going to be the last thing. Yeah, promising a multifaceted response. We do expect to hear later this morning from the Secretary of Defense. Back to you guys.